The 13 millimeter, you can probably torque it to somewhere around 14 to 18 foot pounds. Um, I generally use the uh, German spec good and tight. What's up guys and welcome back to another Supra install for our 2020 GR Toyota Supra. We're basically going to be installing this on the Supra today, which is an air oil separator. An air oil separator basically separates out the oil and the water, which is in the crankcase from going back into the intake and back into the engine, which then clogs up valves and can reduce power and octane rating through oil in the intake. Basically by installing one of these, this traps all the oil and then allows you to drain it out the bottom and um, keeping it away from getting into your intake. We also have future plans to improve it further, improve the air oil separator further by um, potentially offering a automatic drain back kit as well as the crankcase side. We plan to um, work that into the system as well. So that should be pretty interesting. And, uh, and basically the reason why it's not coming out is because we haven't tested it yet. Um, we have been testing this for multiple months now and it works pretty well. So um, that's why we're releasing this first and then we'll uh, have some upgrades um, in the future for those of you that uh, purchase this and then install it. Um, so we're gonna basically go over the tools that you need. We're gonna go over the components in the kit and then we'll do the install. Overall, the install is really easy. Um, I would not, I would say an hour max. Um, probably if people hustle, half an hour eat while drinking a beer. Um, let's get to it. All right guys, so what's included in the kit is the pre-assembled AOS. We have two silicone hoses, which basically make this a really simple ordeal. We have a billet aluminum adapter piece, which uh, adapts the crankcase vent hose to a regular hose, the AOS bracket, as well as some M6 hardware. As far as the tools that you'll need, you need a 13 millimeter socket, T20 Torx, and a four millimeter Allen wrench. And that is the only tools that you need for this install. All right guys, so this is the area that we're gonna be working in. Something to note is that we do have the resonator deleted and we do have our heat shield installed. Um, I believe that the AOS will fit with, with just the resonator deleted, but um, it, it will have that shield and you may have to trim the shield. So with the shield removed and the resonator removed, we would totally recommend our turbo heat shield as well, um, just to keep heat away from the AOS, the hoses, and the intake, but it may not be necessary. That's up to you guys, but the resonator delete is definitely necessary for the AOS install. The first part of the install is gonna be getting access to this hose, which is under the cover. Basically just pull up and the cover comes off and then that's the hose that we're gonna be working with. Um, this unit basically pops off. You have to push both sides and then wiggle up and then the hose is off. So the big side right here, obviously, small side, that goes to the hose. We will now install that into that hose that we just took off and it clips into place and then it will not come out. And then it's gonna reside somewhere around here. So we'll just kind of twist that and put it right there. All right, and then on this side of the engine bay, you will remove this 13 millimeter bolt on our car. It's a stud and nut because uh, we're working on camber plate kit. So we already loosened it. And then we will remove this T20 Torx as well. So that's removed. All right, so off camera, I installed the bracket. Basically that's just taking the seven supplied M6 button head cap screws with uh, washers and installing the bracket in the only way that it can go on. Um, tighten these to about six foot pounds. They are going into aluminum, so they don't need to be really crazy tight. So basically then the AOS is ready to be installed and it, goes on like so. Again, this point will be a bolt, not a nut and washer. And then that will just be reusing the OEM hardware. Don't go crazy on this point because it is going into plastic. 
Um, the 13 millimeter, you can probably torque it to somewhere around 14 to 18 foot pounds. Um, I generally use the uh, German spec good and tight. With AOS installed, we're going to then install the silicone hoses and there is an order in which they can go on. Um, basically, you want to install the long one first. Um, and that, it just basically makes it easier to install. So like so, and then this one can be installed and I recommend going on there first and then snaking it over top and on. And then basically that's done. Final part of the install is to place this back on like so. And then as you can see, silicone hose clears that very nicely. All right, and to remind you down here, there is a petcock which you can reach with your hand. Anyways, you unscrew the knurled part and that's how you drain the valve. Currently, uh, we are working on an auto drain back feature so that it's a set it and forget it type ordeal. And then uh, we also are working on the crankcase, crankcase vent side instead of the uh, valve cover vent side. Um, and we're gonna tie that into this unit as well. All right, guys, that concludes the install of our air oil separator. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to send us an email, sales at barris-engineering.com. Please uh, like and subscribe us. We also have a bunch of other videos coming out for install manuals, as well as testing, information, machining, whatever you guys want, we'll basically put out there. Um, we don't have anything to hide and we enjoy sharing what we do here with you guys. Again, the turbo heat shield and the resonator delete um, are recommended. The resonator delete being necessary, the turbo heat shield being optional, um, but they, all three of the units go well together and they fit and look great in the engine bay. Um, again, be sure to like and subscribe us and until next time.